Good morning, folks. Apart from the surface surge we watched in last night's space weather update, the sun was very, very calm. Yet another day. No big flares or filament eruptions. However, the top watch overnight was indeed worth watching. Solar wind speed continued to rise, confirming that it's a coronal hole event. And the aurora photos coming in from last night are amazing. Powerful electrojet precipitation occurred as Earth's magnetic shield became disrupted and we entered a level 1 geomagnetic storm, KP5, lowest level, and luckily plasma penetration into our atmosphere was minimal at most. Solar flares, dead as we said. The sunspots we have watched are departing now, so we turn to the incoming limb to see tiny little spots only. We'll need to watch for development in these groups, however, as the umbral field situation is suggesting that these areas at the limb turning in now have a storm brewing beneath the surface. The northern positive coronal hole bows down towards the equator after the leading edge. You can see this in 211 angstroms as the slightly darker patch turning in near the equator. This morning, we are seeing another significant earthquake. All but one reading is in 6 magnitude range here, but USGS decided they like that one best. Doesn't seem very accurate. Those are earth spot quakes, by the way. Meanwhile, Chile was rumbling at low levels, and the Pacific rise always worth watching as a foreshock concern. Washington also taking one above average for the region. Both flares and quakes may see a surge soon. We are now just a couple of days from the significant double alignment where Venus and Mars conjoin from Earth's perspective while Venus and Mercury straddle the Sun in opposition. Top story today. Folks, this is the best sign of the solar polar flip being complete that we have seen yet. Positive 18 in the northern field hasn't been that high since 2013 during one of the initial reversal events of the northern field. Barring a major swing backward in the coming month, solar maximum is officially over and the decline is about to begin. Also, look at Dawn's latest Ceres image. This is getting very exciting. Can't wait for them to go find all the water they have over there. Close-ups on deck in the coming weeks. We're starting in Australia as an Uyen storm ramp occurred with a geomagnetic storm leaving two cyclones at Australia now. First one in the north and heading west. Very powerful. And the other one at the northeast readying to swing on shore curling to Brisbane. Amazing on the enhanced infrared there and this is the earth spot for those quakes. In the United States you see the main low just off the east coast but the arctic chill still runs down the west side of the system and the cloud water overlay shows that the winter storm conditions are oh so not done yet. More coming to New England now with the next storm already making its way across the Rockies. Lone watch in Europe is off the North Atlantic low. Its convergence swings east and then south and will draw the worst weather today as you'll see on the precipitable water overlay and then on the cloud water overlay. Weather shares are appreciated. Got the current conditions followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.20 a.m. Central. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.